What do you think, guys? Stunning, isn't it? It's beautiful. We, uh, we call this a classic in the uh, Valley. It doesn't get any better than this. So you're now fully fledged lunatics. <laughs> This is gorgeous. There's something so serene about floating across the beautiful Yarra Valley with the sun coming up and all I have to do is relax and take it all in. Peter Gill is Chief Pilot for Peregrine Ballooning based in the Yarra Valley. We're currently sitting at 2,400 above the ground. Uh, we're flying in a, a west northwesterly wind direction. We're just, just currently flying over Chateau Euring. Uh, heading towards Mount Danny along that area. Now you'd think at this time of day we'd have the skies to ourselves, but no. Now that would have to be one of the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. But don't laugh too hard because that's where we're going next. A bit nervous about it really. <laughs> Officially, an aero chute is a two-seater, 52 horsepower motorised parachute. It generally needs about 10 to 15 metres of run space before it starts to climb. The aero chute was invented in the UK in 1985 as a light transportable machine for military use. Stephen Conti has his fixed wing licence, but fell in love with the aero chute in 1989. I couldn't believe it. It was just uh, something I'd never seen before. And I thought, when I first saw it, I thought, I've got to do this. My tummy's just coming back to normal. <laughs> While some, like our camera crew, prefer to stay on land, Stephen's perfectly comfortable in the aero chute. Just the simplicity and the safety, because the parachute's open before you get off the ground. You can't stall it or spin it, and if the engine stops, you just float back down to the ground. In fact, it's so easy to operate, Stephen handed over the controls to me. What about those trees? Oh my god! Oh, that was great! Thank you so much. My that pleasure. was fun. That was really, that was excellent.